Hello friends. In this video, we are going to discuss the harmonic reduction by transformer connection. Okay. So let us discuss the circuitry. It is having the two inverters, inverter A and inverter B. The input to both the inverters, it is the same. That is the DC input supply with a magnitude of Vs volt. Next, suppose inverter A and B, right? Inverter A and inverter B, right? Suppose inverter A and inverter B. Both are the full bridge inverters, right? So suppose inside this block, yes, we are having the full bridge inverters, right? We are having the full bridge inverters, okay? Next, the output of the inverter is connected to the primary winding of the first transformer. The output of the inverter B is connected to the primary winding of the sec second transformer, right? The secondary of the first transformer and the secondary of the second transformer, right? These are connected in series, okay? The transformer is having a turns ratio as 1 is to 1, right? 1 is to 1, okay? So, as the turns ratio is 1 is to 1, so here we can say this voltage is also VA0. If this is VB0, definitely this should be equal to VB0 only, okay? Next. Again, the voltage across the load is equal to addition of VA0 and VB0, okay? Here, the two windings are connected in such a way that the load voltage VAB is equal to VAB is equal to VA0 plus VB0, okay? So, in this way, we have connected the two sec secondary windings of the both the transformers, okay? Next, now... In order to get the output voltage of the inverter A VA0, right, as shown in the figure, okay. So, at omega t is equal to 0, at omega t is equal to 0, we are going to turn on the switches S1, S2 in the inverter A, right. As I said, inverter A is the full bridge inverter, inverter B also is the full bridge inverter, okay. So, for the, uh, yes, we are going to turn on the switches S1, S2 of inverter A at omega t is equal to 0, right. And as we know, when S1, S2 turns on, output voltage is equal to Vs, right? It is a EDC if the input supply voltage is EDC, but here we have considered the input supply voltage is Vs, okay? So, that's why it is given the voltage as a Vs, okay? Next, at this instant, S1, S2 turned off and at the same time, S3, S4 are turned on, right? Here we have turned off the S1, S2 with the help of force recommutation technique, okay? And next, S3, S4 are turned on. So, when S3 and S4 are turned on, then output voltage will be equal to minus Vs, right? It is equal to minus Vs, okay? Next, so let us consider it is having a magnitude of Vs volt, okay? Next, again at this instant, yes, we are going to turn off the switches S3, S4 and turn on the switches S1, S2. So, again output voltage will be Vs, okay? So, accordingly the same cycle goes on repeating, okay? S1, S2 on, S1, S2 off, S3, S4 on. S3, S4 off, S1, S2 on and so on, okay. Next, similarly, for getting the output voltage of the second inverter V as VB0, right. So, shown as, as shown in the figure, okay. So, now, instead of turning on switches S1, S2 at omega t is equal to 0, at omega t is equal to 0, okay. So, instead of turning on at omega t is equal to 0, yes, we are going to turn on the switches S1, S2 after some instant, after some delay okay this delay is represented with angle theta okay are you getting the point this angle is nothing but the phase lag okay so vb0 is lagging to va0 by angle theta by angle theta okay next so at this instant yes s1 is to turned on next again at this instant s1 is to turned off s3 s4 turns on again at this instant s3 s4 turns off s1 is to turns on okay so as we know when S1, S2 are in the on state, the output voltage will be plus Vs. S3, S4 are in the on state, output voltage will be minus Vs. Okay. Next. So, in this way, we will be getting this waveform. Right. Next. VAB is nothing but the addition of these two voltages. Okay. So, here if you check from 0 to theta, VA0 is Vs, VB0 is minus Vs. So, if you add these two waveforms, it is a plus Vs plus in bracket minus Vs. So, plus Vs minus Vs, it will be 0. Right. Next, Vs plus Vs, it is a 2 Vs. During this interval, it is a minus Vs. Here, it is a plus Vs. So, again, addition will be 0. Next, during this interval, it is a minus Vs. Here, it is minus Vs. So, addition will be minus 2 Vs, right? And further, plus Vs, minus Vs, it will be 0 and so on, okay? So, if you check the nature of the output voltage, it is a quasi-square wave, right? 
here v a zero is a square wave, v b zero is a square wave, but v a b is a quasi square wave, right? V a b is a quasi square wave. Okay, now here we are going to discuss by selecting what value of theta, right? Which harmonic can be removed, right? Which harmonic can be eliminated? Okay, that we are going to discuss now, right? Now, as I said, these are the single phase full bridge inverters, okay? And v a zero, v b zero, these are the yes, uh, we are having. the square wave outputs okay so from this we can write yes from this we can write yes according to the fourier series analysis we can write v a 0 v a 0 is equal to what it is a 4 v s or summation over we can write it as a summation over yes we can write it as a summation over n is equal to 1 3 5 7 up to the infinity right it is a 4 vs divided by n pi into sin of n omega t okay this is the one case okay which is equal to or this can be written as 4 vs divided by n pi into sin of or 4 vs divided by pi into sin of omega t this is for n is equal to 1 right into sin of omega t this is for n is equal to 1 plus for n is equal to 3 it is a 4 vs divided by 3 pi into sin of 3 omega t right plus for n is equal to 5 4 vs divided by pi pi into sin of pi omega t right plus Similarly for seven pi and so on. Okay, this is the V A zero we are having, right? Similarly, we can write the expression for V B zero. Be careful. V B zero is lagging to V A zero by angle theta. Okay, so we can write it as yes. This is nothing but we can write V B zero. We can write V B zero is equal to yes summation over. n is equal to 1 3 5 7 up to the infinity right up to the infinity yes it is equal to 4 vs divided by n pi into sin of n into omega t minus theta right n into omega t minus theta okay so further we can write it as is equal to yes is equal to vb0 is equal to for n is equal to 1 4 vs by pi Into sin of yes, this can be written as omega t minus theta. This is for n is equal to one, right? Plus for n is equal to three, it is four v s divided by three pi into sin of three omega t minus three theta. For n is equal to five, four v s divided by five pi, right? Or v s divided by phi pi into sine of phi omega t minus phi theta. We can write minus it is equal to phi theta. Okay. So likewise, it goes on right. So plus dot 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 right for seven nine etc. Okay. So now as we know v a b therefore v a b is equal to what? V A zero plus V B zero. Okay. So further we can write it as is equal to yes we can write it as V A B is equal to yes we can write it is is equal to V A zero is four V S divided by n pi. Okay. I am writing here into sine of sorry four V S divided by pi four V S divided by pi into Sin of omega t. This is for n is equal to one plus four v s divided by three pi into sin of t omega t plus four v s divided by five pi into sin of pi omega t. Right? Plus dot dot dot. Right? This is the one term. Plus, right? What about the VB zero? It is a four V S divided by pi into sine of. Yes, it is 
ओमेगा टी माइनस थीटा प्लस फोर वी एस डिवाइड बाय थ्री पाए इनटू साइन ऑफ टी ओमेगा टी साइन ऑफ वी कैन राइट इट एस थ्री ओमेगा टी माइनस थ्री थीटा राइट प्लस फोर वी एस डिवाइड बाय फाइव पाए इनटू साइन ऑफ फाइव ओमेगा टी माइनस फाइव थीटा राइट सो लाइक दिस वी कैन राइट इट एस ओके प्लस डॉट 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 आई एम राइटिंग हियर ओके सो फर्दर वी इफ यू चेक यस वी कैन राइट इट एस इक्वल टू सो देयरफॉर वी ए बी इज इक्वल टू यस इफ यू चेक दिस इज द फंडामेंटल कंपोनेंट ओके करेक्ट सो इफ यू चेक हियर दिस इज द फंडामेंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द वी ए जीरो विच इज हैविंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा दिस इज द फंडामेंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द वी बी जीरो दिस इज ऑल्सो हैविंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी ओमेगा दिस इज द थर्ड हार्मोनिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ द वी ए जीरो फ्रीक्वेंसी थ्री ओमेगा दिस इज द थर्ड हार्मोनिक कंपोनेंट ऑफ वी बी जीरो फ्रीक्वेंसी थ्री ओमेगा this one is the fifth harmonic component this one is the fifth harmonic component right so if you check the fundamental component of the va0 and the fundamental component of the vb0 right both are having the same magnitudes 4 vs by pi 4 vs by pi the phase angle or the phase difference between the two is theta right third harmonic component of va0 third harmonic component of vb0 both are having the same magnitude 4 vs by 3 pi both are having the same frequency but the phase difference is 3 theta right here Fifth harmonic component here we are having, right? Both are having the same magnitude four v s by five pi. Here the frequency is five omega. Here also frequency is five omega. But the phase difference between the two is five theta. Okay? So suppose, right? So suppose, or further we can write it as yes. Further we can write it as yes. Four v s. I am writing here. This can be written as four v s by pi. 4 vs by pi, right? From all this, I have I am going to take the 4 vs by pi outside. Okay, 4 vs by pi into yes, this can be written as sine of omega t plus sine of omega t minus theta, right? This is the one thing. Okay, so this is the fundamental and fundamental addition directly. Okay, plus okay, or we can write it in this way. In this way, right? And we can remove this bracket, okay? With a curly bracket, right? Okay. So this is the fundamental addition, right? I am I have taken the four vs by pi outside. Next, further we can write it as a one by three because it is a four vs by three pi. Out of that four vs by pi, we have taken outside. So it is a one by three into bracket. We can write it as a sine of three omega t. ओके प्लस साइन ऑफ थ्री ओमेगा टी माइनस थ्री थीटा राइट प्लस वी कैन राइट इट एज अ वन बाय फाइव इंटू यस साइन ऑफ फाइव ओमेगा टी ओके दिस इज द वन टर्म प्लस साइन ऑफ फाइव ओमेगा टी Minus five theta, okay. Plus dot dot dot, okay. So now if you check, yes, if we select the value of theta, if we select the value of theta such that the phase difference, right, between the sine of three omega t and sine of three omega t minus three theta becomes one eighty degree, okay. Means it is like a third harmonic component output voltage of the V A zero. And third harmonic component output voltage of VB zero, right? Both will be out of phase, right? So if we select theta is equal to pi by three, if theta is equal to pi by three, then third harmonic component can be yes eliminated because if you put here theta is equal to pi by three, it is like three into pi by three. Three into pi by three means what? It is a pi. So it will be three omega t minus pi. Are you getting the point? So three omega t minus pi, and here it is a three omega t, right? Sine of three omega t, sine of three omega t minus pi. So here. It indicates there exists a phase difference of 180 degree between the two. 
so third harmonic component can be eliminated okay similarly in order to remove the fifth harmonic component yes here theta should be equal to pi by 5 theta should be equal to pi by 5 okay so here we can write if if theta is equal to pi by 3 if theta is equal to pi by 3 then third harmonic component third harmonic component can be eliminated can be eliminated from va0 from vab from vab are you getting the point okay similarly if theta is equal to pi by 5 then what will happen yes similarly if theta is equal to pi by 5 if theta is equal to pi by 5 then what will happen yes we can fifth harmonic component right fifth harmonic fifth harmonic can be eliminated right or will get eliminates okay is this clear okay so if theta is equal to pi by 3 third harmonic theta is equal to pi by 5 then fifth harmonic but at a time can we select theta is equal to pi by 3 and pi by 5 not possible because theta means what theta is nothing but the yes phase difference between va0 and vb0 this is the theta we are having okay so by selecting the particular theta we can yes remove or we can eliminate the particular harmonic we can eliminate the particular harmonic okay so in general in general for elimination of yes in general for theta is equal to pi by n right theta is equal to pi by n yes nth harmonic nth harmonic yes can be eliminated can be eliminated okay is this clear okay so in this way by selecting a particular value of theta we can remove the particular harmonic right so this is about the harmonic reduction by using transformer connection right in the next video we are going to discuss the harmonic reduction by stepped wave inverter thank you